All right, everyone, just a quick video to let you know that my favorite skin of FM22, Vince skin, is now available in FM23. The download links are down in the description. Obviously, you need to download it, extract the file, and move it across into FM23, into the skins folder that you find in your Football Manager folder within the documents. Now, make sure you've read everything in terms of the blog. I suggest you follow the blog. This is his first version, so there will be little changes that need to be made. I'm just going to show you very quickly today how it looks. Now, the number one thing that I think people appreciate is a good home screen, a good team screen, and you get that. You get your stadiums if you've got a stadium back. This is black here because this is the city. So I'm down, I need to download the cities pack. This is my go-ahead eagle save, my main save for FM23. Starts Sunday night, 7 p.m. on the channel. So make sure you're around for that. But it gives you all the basic information. Nice clear pictures down the left-hand side if you've got face packs. You can also interchange this here. So we've got starting 11, your board confidence, facilities, transfers, uh, league table, and then club honours. So that's interchangeable. The squad screen, if we bring up a player profile, nice player profile with all the relevant information. I am playing on 110% zoom. That's my personal preference because I like to see the graphics a little bit more in the game. However, Vince does recommend that you play this at around 85% is the ideal number. Now, the main thing I think for this skin is that people appreciate is this little function up here, this little icon here, the TV icon, because you can change the background of the skin. So that is the one that I'm currently playing on. You have like a black kind of a bit of a chalkboard, you have then a grey, you have the Champions League, you have the Europa League, which is quite difficult to see because it's actually going, it's going under the, it's going under the, sort of like the text, but still quite bright, you've got the Europa League as well, we may do that, we may use that for special videos when we get in and around the Europa League with Goed Eagles, there's the blue one that I'm using, we've got the purple one, nice and bright, we've also got the uh, stadium background, there's another one there, which maybe looks like a Europa League as well. And then there's a plain black one. All right, so you've got those to choose from. Everything else is pretty similar. They, they do have a few crazy little screens. This is very similar to a skin that I've seen on uh, on a forum that I may be doing, I might be showing you next week. A little bit different. These buttons are not clickable, but it's just trying to give you a bit of a like a website feel, which is something nice. I do need to improve the quality of my stadium pictures, I think. So I may do a little... Uh, upgrade on those news facilities history all looks pretty good especially if you can get the trophies and stuff in the game i need to get by the looks of it i need to get my trophy pack downloaded what you've also got with the skin is the opportunity to simulate match we're not going to do that because i'm going to show you how it looks in game okay so there's how the match screen looks you've got your your tactics and stuff down in this left hand corner make a sub changing the mentality opposition instructions is a nice little feature is that in the game is that on the original skin? I can't remember, but it's there because I am using it quite heavily in FM23 with this save. In particular, we know we're looking at the tactical aspects of our mainly changing how our centre forwards and our front three press. So that is going to be key. We've also got this button up here where you can end the game and simulate the rest of the game. I think if you're really trying to get through games and you're sort of like 5-0 up or 5-0 down, just clicking that will then generally get put your assistant manager in charge and, he'll, and then he'll simulate the rest of the game for you just to save you a little bit of time. We also have this screen here, which is taken from the Tato screen, something that I've been using. While I have been using the Tato screen, I've been using that recently. I used it in my stream last week. Really good skin. And he seems to have taken bits from that. I don't know if that's allowed or not, but he's taken it anyway. You've got your match analysts, um, stats, home stats, away stats, shots, heat map, passing network. Now, Vince has credited the people in the skin. I'm not sure if that's okay or not, but it's there. It's loaded. People have been asking when this skin is is coming out for FM23. I did say in the stream the other day that I wasn't sure. I had spoke to Vince and he's just messaged me. Literally, it is midnight, early hours of Saturday morning, and, he, and he's messaged me within the last few minutes. So I thought, right, let's get this out for you on Saturday morning so you can dive into FM23. Link's down in the description. Go check it out. Let me know which skin are you using. If you're not using this skin, what skin are you currently using in FM23? All right, guys, 